you have had just an incredible season. You're just 11 rebounds away from 1,000 in your career, and you were just named WNBA Player of the Week. Not bad, Tierra. So, I mean, how much do you feel like the change of scenery and maybe being in Dallas has really helped that? Um, I've come around great guards. You know, my guards can all shoot it as well as, you know, the Dallas teams were missing an entire presence, you know, and that was me bringing me in. I felt like I had a lot to offer, you know, to my team. You know, I credit them for that. And they've been finding me in the right spots. Um, you know, and I get my teammates. I like to get my teammates involved um, in the offense as well as if I'm not shooting it, I know they're knocking down the shot. So, Tierra, you guys clinched uh, the playoff spot and currently in the sixth seed. How does it feel going into the playoffs as the underdog? Um, it feels great, you know, just being in that position, you know, a lot of big teams don't like to play like the teams that are hungry and coming in. So, I mean, it's a scary thing for some teams, but I mean, for us, you know, I think we're ready for this moment. Well, you guys are going to be out a key player. Arike, she had um, a hip injury la that she uh, got last week, and she's going to be out through the second round. How does that kind of change the mindset of this team moving forward? Um, I think, you know, just the next person has to step up. I mean, you know, we can't, you know, harp on it. You know, our house go out, go out to Arike, but we have to do this for her. And it's like that next person up has to come in. And, you know, we can't have a drop off. We can't have anything, you know, lacking. And I think that my team has stepped up to the plate. And I think that, you know, we know what we have to do. So there's been this renewed buzz about the traveling in the WNBA this season and not for good reasons. <laughs> Can you tell us some of the things that you've had to go through? Um, me personally, the thing that I hate the most is like the shortest person on the plane will always have like the extra row and that puts <laughs> me in a bad position because it's like I either have to sit in the middle or I have to sit like in a regular seat sometimes oh, no. and it's just like, yeah, it's not the greatest, but you know, I mean, what else can we do besides, you know, run with the punches, you know, I try to get a little bit more recovery uh, when we get to the hotel <laughs> when that happens, but I mean, it's all a work in progress. How tough is that on a on you as a professional athlete when you're trying to compete at your best, but then you're having to deal with these struggles while traveling, not having enough space, and you're trying to get your body to recover here? Um, I think, you know, it uh, goes down to, like, your mental toughness. I think that, you know, there are no times it's like you can't change anything about it. I mean, yeah, we should be in better seats, or yeah, you know, we should be flying private that comes you know when college it was like you know we got our own plane and now we're flying with you know the general public you know I don't recommend it but I mean it all just goes like the I have to get in I have to get the recovery like I have to do things that are like I don't want to do like in the moment but it's like I mean I have to and if I want to keep performing at the level that I'm performing at all right, well, let's switch to something that I really enjoy on social media. We know there's a lot of pressure nowadays to have the perfect game day fit, Tierra, and you are always on point, it seems like. The W is always posting it on social media. So what are your keys to having the right fit on game day? Give it to us. Uh, me, personally, I have to take a nap, and then however <laughs> I'm feeling when I wake up from my nap, that's kind of what I go with. So either I'm feeling relaxed or I'm feeling, you know, a little spicy, then I spice it up a little <laughs> bit. But, you know, it really all depends on how good the nap is. So when the fit is really good, that means I had a good nap. Now, if the fit is kind of like, okay, then, you know, my nap was a little rocky. <laughs> I feel that. I feel that way coming to work sometimes. I'm like, yep, it's going to be one of a sweatshirt and jeans kind of day. Yep, just throw it on and let's go. I've already changed since we started this show, so uh, I love the spicy comment. Okay, so here, yeah. besides you, Tierra, who is the best dresser in the WNBA? Oh, there's so many. you got to pick one. Besides you, though. I'm spot here. Um... Mm. Oh, I feel like, <laughs> oh, wow. I can't pick just one. I really have a couple, but I mean, I feel like Skylar Dingus has had like some, like hers are like different, but like, I like different outfits. Like, she'll probably be like top tier. She's definitely in there. Okay. Uh, well, okay. Let me put that, you on the spot there. I there's know. a lot of great dresses yeah, in the I'm WNBA, like, so. There's a, there's a lot. I know, I know. I know. I know. I, well, I, you can I, say yourself, because I mean, you do have great style. I mean, I did, but he said I couldn't say myself, so I was like, oh, okay. I, I know. I, I should have said, <laughs> go ahead and say yourself. <laughs> <laughs>